Usual, yeah? yeah. Like a fade, a skin fade at the round the sides. Yeah, zero back and sides, so it's trim on top. Yeah, and then just, just to tidy up on top. I, I usually get my hair, hair cut wherever. You know what I mean? Because I've only lived around here two years, like, like, around this area. And um, I've got an air cut off this fella and he's telling me how he's in the college. And, that, and it's like a decent hairdresser. Talking it through and he's going like, is this all right? And I'm thinking, nah, it ain't all right. But he ain't going too, too short. And I'm thinking, you know what? Let me just, like, and my missus is like, Teddy ain't really. And I'm like, shh. And, and then I, I, I come to pay and I just paid it. And, I, and he said, oh, are you sure it's all right? And I said, yeah, yeah, it's all right. Didn't want I to said, be rude, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, like, I didn't want to be rude. Because he obviously he's telling me he's in college, he's learning that. So I just come straight here after that, because it was right near my ass. And then ever since then, I've been using it every couple of weeks. You know what I mean? So it's, as he it says, the usual, it's easy, because he knows what, I'm, I, what effort I want. In a couple of years, yeah. yeah. Uh, knew of him before he came in here as well, uh, before he got his haircut and that. Obviously, my brother was uh, boxing as well, he knew Ted and stuff. And my brother was in here one day getting his haircut and he uh, bumped into Ted. They just started talking and that. And it's just, from ever since then, it's almost like cutting a friend's hair in a chair rather than a boxer. So, in that sense, it's quite cool. It's mad how so many people, not to be rude, are up your ass when you're doing well. And then the next minute, when things start going wrong, they're sort of, they're there. They're still there, but they're there to sort of knock you down a few steps, you know what I mean? And they're happy to do it. But I've been able to see that and, and go through that. And when I'm training and stuff, it gives me that extra motivation because I think I can't wait to prove all you wrong and you lot try and be all right. And as much as I'm a sportsman and you should be all right, but I, I can't wait to have that bit of arrogance against them and go, oh yeah, all right, mate. That, that, I don't bother. I don't want to listen to it really. You know what I mean? I'm all right. It's boxing. You, like, you wouldn't want to talk about your work all night, would you? Once you finish work, and I'm looking forward to doing that because I'm so motivated. My confidence is back. My my fitness is there. Uh, everything's like we've been working in the gym's coming together, and I'm just I'm just really confident. I'm, I'm going to do the business next week. But the thing is, not the, the pace of the way I fight and the way my fights have been is a total different to Scott's, you know what I mean? Look, Scott's a really good fighter. He's done really well beating uh, Anti Fowler. He ain't been beat, but look, he ain't been in the fights like me. He, he's not fought for a British title. I'm British champion, I've defended it. Um, he, he ain't boxed for a European title against uh, world number two, which I've done. And, Although I got beat a lot, stuck in there 12 rounds and gritted my teeth. He's going to be the best version of Scott, the best version of me. I've got no um, dislike for Scott or nothing. I, I get on with Scott if before with obviously boxing and obviously now nah, we're rivals at the minute, but i got no problem with him. And, um, the thing is that it made the best man win, but I, I believe myself that I'm going to be the best man on next Saturday. A lot of people hadn't even turned pro at, at, 20, at 24. Scott Fitzgerald hadn't turned pro, Anthony Fowler hadn't turned pro at 24. I mean, I'm British champion, they want my title. Do you know what I mean? I'm still a baby in, in the sport. So, to be honest, um, I've got a long career ahead of me still. But the main, my main, main focus is next week doing the business against Scott. It's a massive fight. Everyone in the boxing fraternity except for the people who are close to me who know what, what I've been doing in the gym is have the doubt of me winning because obviously the last few performances. But I know for 100% fact I'm ready, do you know what I mean? And, and that's the main thing. As long as I'm ready, I'm confident, I'm fit, and it's just about doing the business. I never really feel too pressured, but I try to put pressure on myself because mentally to because I want to win, do you know what I mean? Uh, it doesn't matter what I do. I've said before, it don't matter. I, I don't let people win in, in anything I do. Like, whether I was mucking about my little baby, I, I'm going to wind him up or I'm going to not let him get it before me because it's just the winner's mentality. You know? I've got a winner's mentality. I always want to win. When I play like when I play things like Xbox and FIFA and stuff, I lose. For the next hour, I'll have, I'll have the ump. You know I mean? I'm, a, I'm a bad loser. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a good loser. I'm not afraid to admit it because... It's like, I want to win. I, mean, I don't want to lose or just take part. There's no point, otherwise, you might as well not be in the sport. Try for success, isn't it? Yeah. 
I think it's going to be more of a gentleman fight that we're both trained really hard. We're both going to get in there and try our hardest and the best man wins, you know what I mean? Because the fight sold, it, that, like as soon as the fight was announced, it got a great um, sort of talk talked about a lot by a load of people and everyone was hyped up for it. So I don't think it needs any more building up. Um, I think that Ritz and Robbie Davis, they've been at each other a bit. So I think that's the fight with a bit of spike between the two fighters. But um, I think me and Scott's fight, I think everyone's intrigued to see if there's any change in me or if, if, the, if there's any difference and see if it's going to be the same Scott that turns up that box Fowler or if the Scott that box Craig Morris and other fighters like that, you know what I mean? So there was a big change in his, his last performance against Fala to his other fights in his pro career. So it's whether he's a one at one or he's, he's going to be the next big thing. I'm a tough fighter, I'm, 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 game, I'm as game as they come at and I'm, I'm always fit. But this fight, I'm extra focused, you know what I mean? This, for me, this is a bit in myself, the mental pressure I've been put on and it's like a career defining fight, you know what I mean? I've got a lot of sponsors and um, obviously to keep them going, you got to keep winning and stuff. And but obviously that, that's my, like boxing is my living. So I've got to win to keep fighting, to keep providing for my, my baby and providing for my, my family, do you know what I mean? So I need to do it to have the life, I, I need to win to have the life I want to have. And um, that's why I'm planning. And, and that, that's what I'm planning on doing a bit, doing a business on Saturday, yeah, and that's why I've trained so hard and had that extra motivation this this fight. I want to go all the way. I want to prove that I'm as good as what I am because you can nick a living out of boxing by fighting certain fighters and not doing things. But that's why I've always pushed for the best fighters. That's why when I boxed in February, I boxed for the European title. I never had an easy defence against someone and got paid well. You know what I mean? I, I took the risk. Or to try and get that reward, it, it it's all about risk and reward, and I think I could have, I could have easily vacated the belt after the Kieran Conway fight and thought, you know what, I need to change stuff, a lot of stuff was going on, change um, a lot of thing in, in camp, and start again, sort of I mean, start building myself up again, have a couple of easy fights, improve things. But no, I, I knew what I was going wrong, and I, I knew I started working on things and doing things. And now I'm back in a big fight again, and everyone's talking about this fight again. And as much as a lot of people are doubting me in the boxing world, after the fight, when, when I win, it's, it's going to all change again. And then they'll be talking about the next big fight I'm having. You know what I mean? Because they'll know, uh, again, there ain't going to be another easy fight, be another massive fight. Someone like Fowler, someone like Egerton. You know what I mean? It, obviously, I'm not looking past this fight, but. That's what everyone knows when when you when Ted Chisholm is fighting, it's going to be a good fight. You know what I mean? It ain't it ain't going to be a bum or a journeyman and and an easy walkover fight. It's going to be a big big fight, a good test, and an entertaining fight. Obviously, we knew the fight was going to be made sooner or later. So Tony just said, all right, now start training, start camp, sort of now. Um, but I was ticking over sort of in that then period of time, do you know what I mean? But, but um, since I started, I, was, uh, I think it was the 8th of June, I started back fully in the gym. I've been flat out since then. Wax or hairspray, uh, a little bit of wax and hairspray. Yeah. This is your best ever haircut. Usually I'm done in 10 minutes. <laughs>